Hey guys, Dan Alm, and back with another Watcher Realms video. Today we're going to be going through the Forerunner patch notes. This is the beta server, and uh, basically these changes come to global server after a little bit, so that's why we usually go through them. And we just got them dropped this morning very early, so let's go. I've been up since freaking 1 a.m. Oh, let's go. What do we got going on? So first thing, compensation, 50 diamonds. Okay, great. In it, the Embalmer, getting an amazing buff here. New effect added for basic attack, reduces the target's damage by 30% for 2.5 seconds. Talent, ancient core's damage per second increased from 20 to 25, okay? So I've never seen anyone use in it, and in it was really hard to get. You gotta complete basically all the quests in the game to get it, so um, that's gonna be great. So now we have Alistair and in it, and they can both do the reduced damage. So this is really important for guild boss too. Um, it makes the fight a lot easier. The boss does a lot of damage, so this is very nice. Okay. Optimize skill descriptions for all support heroes with rage regen effects. Okay. So I think they're just gonna tell us a little bit more on, you know, how it works or something like that. So we'll have to see for that. Gear. Hell's Lament. This is a great change. Before the three-piece, when activated, 30% damage and 40% crit damage for eight seconds. Now it's increased to 12 seconds. I was always thinking, you know, a, a lot of ultimates last a lot longer than eight seconds. So this one was kind of hard to use on different heroes um, because they basically had to have a short ultimate for this to be fully useful for them. So now this is a lot better. 12 seconds, a lot better. Nice little, uh, whatever, 50% increase. So that's great. Increase the number of recommendation rules. Awesome. 20 to 25. Okay. Yeah, I was always like getting to 20. And, you know, if you want to like make a separate rule for crit damage mains versus attack mains, for example, um, it was really hard to do it that way. Now you have 25. They could have done like 40 in my opinion, but that's still great. Um, for custom rules in recommendation settings, two-piece sets can now be filtered by primary attribute. Okay. That's kind of weird. Um, I guess if you want to put flat attack on a chest um, as a stat, I guess that's why you'd want to do this because, you know... Weapons can't roll flat attack. Um, I guess that's one of the only things I would think. Same thing with flat HP. So I guess that's the reason. Um, okay, that's fine. More customization, totally fine. Uh, tip for two-piece sets. The weapon's primary attribute, okay, that's what I just said, is fixed to attack and um, uh, the chest is fixed to HP. Yeah, okay, so that, I see why they're saying that now. Okay, so they they put the tip uh, there, okay. Optimize the process of equipping heroes with gear. Players will no longer automatically return to hero list after equipping gear. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, players will no longer automatically return. Okay, that's fine. Added several new exclusive gear items. Hey, that's great. Uh, so this is awesome. There, there was only like a couple heroes that had exclusive gear, so now we'll get more, perfect. Uh, fix some gear icon errors. Okay, I don't know specifically what that's for. That's fine. Stages added the start in takeover option. I have no idea what that means. Um, is there anything that says take over? Uh, is, has this been released in something else? So there's that. Um, April of this year. I don't even know what this is. Oh, is that the auto function? Is that what they're calling that? Oh. I think that's when you press the little computer button above the skills and it just auto alts. Or maybe it's the one that auto places. I actually don't know what that is. And it was updated. I don't know. I've never seen that word used before. I don't actually know what this is. Uh, comment below if you know what this is. I think it's maybe just the auto alt. Uh, they have one in the top right that does like auto placement and auto alts, and then they have auto alts. Maybe that's what they are calling takeover. Um, I've never heard that term before, but okay. Optimize uh, takeover to run at 3x speed. Optimize some combat performance details. Okay. Guild, you can now view the corresponding team's garrison map during the prep phase. Okay, that's good. Um, optimize the guild mail's layout. Okay. Uh, weekly guild mail increase from 5 to 10. Okay. The hero interface now displays the hero tags. Okay. 
Uh, you can tap the tags to view their descriptions. Okay. Uh, you can now filter by hero tags in hero and team interfaces. I think this is like, uh, like damage support, stuff like that. I think um, some of them might be like AOE damage and stuff like that. Okay. Added uh, vibration alerts when background fight and auto fight end. Okay. You know, they added this background, this thing where like you go AFK now and they didn't have it before on global and they've added it now. It was on Forerunner before, but it's really annoying because you like run your background fights. Um, on I, I run around my computer and I go to sleep and then I wake up and it's logged out for me and all the gear is now in my inventory and I have to go through my inventory and sort it instead of using like the sort screen. So that's been really making me angry to be totally honest. Be especially because for Forerunner, for my, my account specifically, it takes me like 10 minutes to log in because I have to log into Forerunner. Um, I have to reinstall and then I have to go over to Forerunner, reinstall again. Then, you know, it's it's like re-downloads and reinstalls everything. It's been, this is honestly, I made me play the game less because of that background thing that just makes you go AFK. It's been really annoying. Um it just makes me not want to deal with spending 10 minutes to log in, you know, after it logs me out. So that's been quite annoying for me. Uh, added hero source information in gallery. You can now tap. Hey, that's great. Um, you know, this is something I had on my spreadsheet forever. Um, so now they have it in there. That's nice. Because you always had to like, people were always asking, you know, how do I know where you can get a hero? And now you know. So remove the option for mythic gear from auto fight. Okay, so they just removed that option. I bet someone like accidentally clicked that and then it just deleted all of their gear and they're like, what the hell? So that's removed. Okay, rarity of gear to be sold automatically. Okay, that's fine. Optimize the combat performance of Rex and Camille. Two rares. Okay, I don't know what combat performance means. I don't know what that means. Um... Okay, we'll see what that means, I guess. Optimize display on low resolution devices. Okay, optimize some camp upgrade quests. Okay, guess that's gonna be it for the video today. I still don't know what this takeover is. I think that's maybe one of the auto or auto alts or auto placement thingies. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for the video. So if you wanna purchase any packs in the game, feel free to use my link in the description below. And that's gonna be pretty much it today. We went through the Forerunner patch notes. Um, we hit a crazy milestone on Bitcoin last night and we smashed past 100K. So I went to bed late and then I woke up at freaking 1 a.m. this morning. I've had so much shoulder pain. I don't know what I did. I really hurt my shoulder like playing golf on Monday. And oh my God, I've been getting like two hours of sleep. I've been just taking Tylenol and ibuprofen and it doesn't even touch the pain. So I don't know what to do. Oh, I've been up since literally 1 a.m. this morning. 1.11, I woke up in like deathly pain and I'm just like kill me man oh my god make it end make it end it's been two three almost three days now of just like intense pain that almost makes me pass out so not been enjoyable but that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it um have a great day everyone see you guys